Hello lovely people, how are you doing? I hope you're well and welcome to Helen here. Thank you for choosing this channel. I'm in the village and I want to take you on a simple tour of our African village. So, I just want us to go to the farm. And you can, we have so much and I want to show you what we have starting right here. First of all, look at the scenery. The place is so beautiful. It's green trees. It's a very quiet afternoon. Yeah. So I want to show you some of the things that we have in the farm. Starting right here. Oh, look at this. It's... What insect is this? Anyway, this one is a pumpkin plant. The pumpkin leaves are used to make mash food and they can also be used as vegetables and also the pumpkin is do call it a fruit once it's grown you can eat it right here guys do you know lemon grass we have some over here so the ground is very wet it's been raining and everything is so beautiful here we have um, this weed i've forgotten what it is called in english it's called the fifin kikuyu and it's actually it's a weed that is edible look at that here we have it's this one is a kitchen garden it's right behind the kitchen those are radishes i just finished cleaning so we have these uh, kales some people call them colored greens in africa in kenya we call them sukumawiki it's a very favorable vegetable for eating with our staple food called ugali so here we have more of these very healthy very nice if you're in the city or abroad and you're missing your home in kenya i've just brought you this video to have it for you to have that home feeling and just enjoy it yeah we also have some fruits over there yeah so let's continue. Look, we have some popos, some popo plants. I just love nature and how it's so beautiful. It literally just shows off. Whew. Here is our makeshift gate. I actually don't know how to open. Let's do it. Ah. <laughs> oh my god how do we do this now oh before i forget our avocado plants our the trees are so huge right now yeah these are makeshift gate for going to the shamba from the homestead he's my beautiful mama-in-law's house very beautiful colored house yeah so let's go to the farm here these ones are called arrow roots guys and what happens to arrow roots they grow along water lines yeah or if there's a river bed or something so here it's because the water passes around there along the fence and what happens is um, it grows the whatever is eaten is the root that's why it's called the arrow root. So you just dig this thing when it's mature, then you're gonna get uh, an arrow root. Yeah. Yeah. We have the tree tomatoes, the fruits. You can see them. I'm sure I've ever shown you these ones. If there's one thing I love doing is going to the village. Actually, one of the, my friends called Rachel said that if there's an award for visiting the village. <laughs> I should get it <laughs> and I agree I actually just love going to the village you know whenever I have time off work you'll find me in the village or maybe I can go for a vacation and the village is more so here's the tree tomato plants the fruits are doing so well this one is almost ready can see it okay so what else is in this farm see this is the other root this is a baby one 
Yeah, so the roots grow into something that's edible called the arrow roots. What else do you do? Something else we have here is sugar cane. Miwa bana, miwa, miwa, miwa. Guys, oh, these ones, you see, you eat this part, the stem. Yeah, the stem is so sweet and juicy. It's actually used to make sugar for those guys who grow it in large scale. But for us here, yeah, we just eat it raw. On this side, we have the bananas. They are huge. Okay, we, I hope we can get one that has already borne the fruit. Banana, by the way, is banana a fruit? Abu, tell me in the comment section below whether banana is a fruit. Yeah, so these are the banana plantations. These are the bananas we have in Kenya. In Uganda, they have those long ones called plantains. Hey, they are usually so nice. Ah, here you go. So it looks like that. Once it's grown, it looks like that. That's a banana plant. There you go. Our avocados as usual. Hey, you guys. I usually tell you when I go to the village, talk to me nicely. Imagine it's at my level here. I can actually just reach it. Oh, my fruit. I'm eating this. So the avocados. Well, they're not mature. There you go. There's so many. This is, I think, the famous has. Imagine it's at the level you can just you just pluck. Oh, I'm enjoying my tree tomato now. Don't mind my nails. This is village banana. No, this is the easy story. Is a manicure, a pedicure, to liacha Nairobi. Watch your nails the beat to tatangenza to kirudu api Nairobi. Has. Oh my God, you guys. Have you ever seen such? The avocados in my jar, and this is just one tree. My mom in law has so many of them, so you can talk to me nicely. Aha, Niki toka ocha nikulete avocado. Look, this is one tree with all this, you guys. Wait, and here are so many trees. Hmm. I love, love it. Yeah, he's the tree tomato. Finally. <laughs> mm, right from the tree. Look at that. A sun kissed, literally. Yeah, let's continue with the tour of the farm. Oh, sorry. Behind me, this, uh, this is a store, but initially, a long time ago, it used to be a, a house that someone lived in. This was the traditional house. Uh, the traditional houses in Kenya. It was made out of mud and cow dung. It makes a very nice. Uh, I don't know. Look at that. So it was made out of uh, mud. You mix mud and cow dung, a nice paste. Then it is plastered so well. It's just that this one now is just a store, but you plaster it so well. Yeah, and then that was a traditional house. On this side, huh? we are more bananas, guys. I hope you're enjoying the farm tour. And thank you for being here, guys. I don't take it for granted. I really appreciate you. And why I showcase our country is because I don't know why you haven't visited Kenya. If you're there, out there, and you want to visit a country, guys, sure I have so many videos showcasing our beautiful city, Nairobi. And also showcasing our country, their country. There's so many places you can visit. So if you're out there in a country and you're looking for a country to visit outside or in Africa, please, Kenya should be number one. Are we together? Tembea Kenya. You will not waste your money. You will not regret it. Now, I want to show you something else. See this fruit right here? I don't know. There are some papayas, but they're very tiny. And so sweet also. And if you eat it when it's not yet uh, ripe, it actually cuts your tongue. Yeah, I don't know why. And on this other side, oh, they look like this. They've even dropped because they are they've ripened until they've dropped. Let me show you. Oh, easy pasuka. Yeah, it's so juicy. Look, it's so juicy. It looks like this. Ooh. Yeah. 
But if you eat it and it's not ripe, man, you're gonna cut your tongue. I don't know why it cuts the tongue. Anyway, who see the beauty of being in the village and it has such a sweet, some sweet scent. It smells so good. It's not like a normal papaya. I don't know what these types are. They are very tiny. And I've, by the funny enough, I've only seen them at my mommy laws. Eh? Then, look at this. This is a mature banana. It's not plantain. This is a banana. Look, it's even ripening on on the banana. Is this a banana tree, guys? First of all, tell me, is banana a fruit or what do you call it? Anyway, there you go. And bananas are very rich in potassium, if I'm not wrong. <laughs> Yeah, so this is literally our small, we can call it kitchen garden, this is what we have, because the larger farm is uh, right across, and there's a day I did another video, so I won't repeat, I showed you the tea plantation, and it is right ahead, if you can look at that, um, if you look ahead, you can see some very flat green bushes, those are tea bushes. I may do another video for the sake of those people who didn't watch the previous one, but you can just go and watch it, yeah? Yes, but we have some more stuff. This is the colored green. I was telling you, Skuma Wiki, today we are having ugali, so I'll come and pluck some. We're making dinner. It is Ugali is our favorite uh, meal in uh, Kenya. I don't know what it is called. Does Ugal even have an English name, you guys? Tell me again on the comment section. Okay. Yeah, so we have... Uh, this one is called what? Oh, my God. What do you call this in English? Gu guavas. Yeah, we have guavas. The guava... Guavas here. But they are not yet um, mature. So like when they are mature, on the inside it's beautiful sweet and pink yeah very sweet and on this side we have the mango tree it's also not mature so this is not a season for fruits as much as you can already see yeah hey my mom in law is a hard working person she's really done so much in her little farm and then the entire place the other part is the purely tea so they do tea for com as commercial farming yeah, and now she's planted some more our roots. As you can see, they are freshly done. This place has been raining, you guys. Thing is not recording, Shaitan. This place has been raining, you guys. Can you look at this? The soil is so wet. And funny enough, it rains one minute and the next it's so sunny. Like right now it rained uh, like an hour ago, but it's already, it looks very sunny interesting and the soil is so fertile look at this oh my god very very fertile soil so the last thing i'm gonna show you here on our this farm eh, is napier grass guys do you know napier grass yeah napier grass is um uh, okay of course more avocados avocados are the thing here <laughs> napier grass is used to feed our cows so you cut this one it's like grass but now it's too yeah look this is the work of a farmer <laughs> so you cut this this uh the green bit and then the leaves they are called the leaves they, they are the leaves of the napier grass also I'd say. you cut from the stem down here yeah then when you cut it you feed the cows you can also use it to make um, if, if to feed your animals basically because of course, the home animals are herbivores. <laughs> yeah. So, as I was telling you, look at this other one here. Now, if you look around, guys, this most of these huge trees, they are avocado trees. We have so many of them. Look. And you can, even from here, you can actually see. Hapa, kukula ma avocado properly. <laughs> So if you want to uh, talk to me nicely, I'm here, I can bring for you in Nairobi, where we are buying them at an arm and a leg. Very unfair. And then another beautiful thing about this place, as we end the video, I just want you to look at the scenery, guys. So this one is the cow shed and another one across there. So they usually alternate. They feed from there and then sometimes they feed from here, this side. Eh? There where there's that blue shade, eh? And the avocado trees, we have silage. Where that is where we make the silage for cow feed. Yeah. 
and this tree looks misplaced being in in these highlands <laughs> we normally see it in deserts but anyway there's so many variety of trees because the soil is so good can you imagine guys i can feel raindrops again that is how this place is like so i just wanted to show you a small farm tour and i'm so happy that you guys made time to watch this video so for those guys who have never seen a tea plantation i just came up to here just to show you because i had already done another video i won't repeat so just have a look yeah this is now the tea farm it goes all the way across to the right yeah the that's all that is tea and they look so the tea bushes look so beautiful yeah the neighbors right here so guys that is it for this video uh, yeah look at my hands literally a farmer's hands they look like that so i hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, thank you so much for watching kindly if you're new here welcome and please consider subscribing if you like this kind of content for my returning subscribers for my channel members thank you so so much for your support and for always watching my content otherwise we're gonna end this video here thank you so so much and god bless you bye